Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Rezen here with you to learn how we can use InnerJoin in .NET and what is the structure of it in Link. Before continuing to watch the video, please subscribe me and comment me below if you have any question. So let's dive into code. Okay, here we have simple .NET application. I want to start my example with generate a student class. Okay, first of all, we have to change the access modifier to public and set some properties. The first one is ID, the second one is first name, and the third one, the type is a string, and it is last name, and the last one is int, and it's great. The other thing that we should write in this class is to write static method to mark some data, you know, because we don't want to uh, waste the time to connect to our database. The name of the method is get list of students and fill some data in it with generating or get instance of list of students and in it make single instance of a student. The ID of first student is one and the first name is James and the last name will be Johnson and the grade of this student is 10. Let's fill second student. The second student ID is 2. And the first name of he or she is Tomath. And the last name is Ethmit. And the grade of this student is 11. Let's fill another student with ID number 3. And the first name is Jack. And the last name will be Davis. And the grade of this student is 9. So we complete our student class. The another class or entity that we need is a student course to fill some courses about any students. We put the name student course and change the access modifier to public and set some properties. The first one is ID, the second one it would be student ID. The third one is a string and it is course name and the last one is a score that a student got in that course. Not only we need a static method in our student class but also we need it in here to mark some information about any students. A type of the method is list of a student course and the name of the method is get list of a student courses. So let's mark some information about new students. First of all, we should make in sense of list of student courses. And the first item is about student one. I think the name of the student was uh, James, I think. The course name is ASP.NET Core. And the grade that you got in this score is 20. He's a smart. The second item is also about student one. I mean, James. And the course that he passed is SQL Server and the score was 18. The third one is about a student who I think he was Tumath. And the course name is Angular. The score that he got is 15. The fourth one is about a student 3. He was Jack. Jack Davis. The course name is Vue.js and the score is 11. He's not smart enough. And the fifth item is about Jack and the course name is ASP.NET Core and the score is 13 and the last one is about Jack and the course name is MongoDB and the score that he got is 12. So we complete it together. In this example, I'm gonna get some information about the courses that they passed by students. In order to do that, I have to generate a new class and the name is Link Service. In it, I have to write some codes to show you guys how we can use InnerJoin to get these information. So let's put a new method in here to write this information that we needed for us. 
at the first of the method, we need our mock informations that we wrote in our classes. The first one is about student.getlistof students. And the second one is student courses that we marked in our student course class. After that, we reach the main part of the video, I mean config inner join between student and student course. Pay attention to the goal that we want to get. The goal is to write some information about the student. So the student is main class. So we have to join students with list of student courses. The second input the join method needs is which property of a student do you want to join with course? It is ID. And the third input is about the property that you want to join from course to a student, and it is a student ID. And the last one is what kind of information do you need from join method to return? We need some information about student and course. So we put S as a student and C as a course. And use anonymous type to return these data that we need. A student ID, S.ID, and course ID from C.ID. And S. I think there is a mistake in here. Let's check it out. I think it's... Oh, it's here. Let's delete it to make it better. S dot first name and S dot last name and from course C dot course name and C dot score. We need these data to write those information that we mentioned. The final thing which missed here is to set a loop on result to write a data on console. So let's do it together for each on result and console.writeLon. The information that we need is from a string interpolation, item.studentID and item.firstName, comma, item.lastName. And I mean, this is student pass this course. Item dot course name and the score is item dot score. After running this code, we expect console to show us some information. For example, James passed ASP.NET Core with a score of 20 and so on. So in our program.cs class, we should make instance of link service ls equals new. And from ls, we should call inner join. And after that, console.read key not to close the window. So let's see the result together. As you can see, the result is a thing that we expected from console. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it become handy for you. Please subscribe me and comment me below if you have any question.